Today we're going to do some simple lab work using the Wave Master. So I want to start off with some simple techniques and then uh, do a few combos. I'm going to start off just with a front jab. When I do my front jab, get into your fighting stance. Shoulders should be square. Bring your hands up. Tuck your chin down into your chest and bring the shoulders up high, keeping the elbows in tight. You don't want your elbows out wide because that's going to leave the center open for someone who's quicker than you. So you want to close those hands in and stay in tight and turn your body to block everything. <clears throat> I start with my foot flat, and then as I turn my punch over, I come up off my heel and push off the ball of my foot into my jab. <clears throat> Usually whenever I punch when my shoulder touches my cheek, that lets me know that punch is complete, and I bring it back. So let's go ahead and throw 10 jabs on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I have a whole lot of room, so I'm having to work with the bag a little bit today. I'm going to go ahead and switch sides. Again, bring your hands up. You're already in tight. I like to kind of point my knee at my target and have everything in a line as I punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So we're going to stick that hand out. Um, that can be called a few things. Can be called a forward punch. Can be called a front punch. Can be called a jab. Boxing sometimes shortens a lot to just a number, so that you can call them out quick, like one, one, two, two, one, one, two, three, and so on. So <clears throat> don't worry too much about the name. But after the jab, I want to do your cross. Since my heel is already up. I'm going to plant that heel down and push off that back foot, pushing through into the target. One, two, I'm going to step back a little bit so it doesn't move as much. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So now we're just going to put those two together for a personal combo. Often referred to as the one-two combination. So just one-two. Um, so you want to try to pop that jab out pretty quick. It's not really meant for power. It's just meant to kind of divert attention. And then that second follow-up, that should be where your power is at. Try not to do what I just did and let your hand drop down after the punch. Instead, bring it straight back the same way it came out on that straight line. Go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One trick I like to do to help make sure you keep your hands up is so when I come back, I just go ahead and put my thumb on my cheek. That way I know that hand's up. It's guarded. I won't do it while I'm fighting, but while I'm practicing, and make sure my hands are never down. Okay, so on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, that's probably the simplest combination in all martial arts, including boxing even. So let's add, or let's do just a roundhouse kick next. I'm going to kick kind of soft so I don't move the bag too much. But you want to bring your knee up. 
sideways, let that bottom foot pivot and extend the leg. Normally, you want to be kind of close and hit with your shin. You can either hit with your, I've seen it argue to hit with your shin or your instep. Um, some of the Kimball guys will actually change that completely and turn the toes outward and use a roundhouse to hit with the ball of the foot. You can get quite a bit of power that way. It's, play with that a little bit if you haven't. And that's a good way to do that kick as well. But I like hitting with the shin. If, for nothing else, for shin conditioning, because if you fight with any MA guys, they're going to really kick your legs a lot. <laughs> okay. One. Two. I'm going to go ahead and do two on this side and then switch sides every time. Kind of keep the back center. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, so next we're just gonna put those three together. Do one, two, and then switch sides. One, two, okay. One, two. Three, four, five. I'm gonna focus on a little bit more on speed. I can't focus on power right now. Six, seven, eight. Simple kickboxing combination, just a jab cross roundhouse. Let's learn how to do a hook punch. I have a lot of trouble with my hook, so I'm going to show you what helped me. Because whenever I was standing here trying to get it right, it always load up too much or not throw it right. So what helped me was having someone throw the punch at me. I'd step out of the way of the punch with both knees bent. Then I could just turn, keeping that elbow on my side. And bang, you have a good hook. So, usually when I practice this with a bag, you'll see that I do a slip and then a hook. And that's just because that's the way that I get the best form out of it. So, that's the way I like to practice it. Okay, so let's do that as a combination. Let's do one, two. You see a punch coming at you. So, you're going to slip, step out of the way, bend this knee, and then you want to go either for the rib or for the kidney. Coming back through. And then switch sides. Same thing. One, two, slip, punch. Okay. One. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, focus on technique. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, Okay, so after the jab, 
cross, hook. We've already done jab, cross, kick. So let's simplify that even more. Make it jab, cross, grab the top of your bag, and bring it into it. Um, just get the cardio in. I'm not going to worry so much about hitting with power. Let's just make that into a grab, jump knee, just to get a little bit of work out of it. I'm not worried about hitting the bag hard. I just want to get that jump in. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so let's do another combination. The one round health kick off the back leg. We can throw that exact same kick off the front leg, um, without the need to draw back. So whenever I do a cross, I usually follow up with my roundhouse. If I want to throw a kick right after a jab, that's going to leave me open for a little bit. But on my way back, I can throw that kick up and it might not even be seen. So instead of a jab, cross, roundhouse, I'm going to do is jab, cross, Add a jab, just as a distraction. As I'm leaning back, you get that kick off, and I'm gonna create some distance. I'm shuffling back. You might be a grappler, you might like to be in close. Not me, I'm a small guy, I'm 5'4". I'm trying to hit and get away. I don't care, they wanna grab onto me. I, you know, step in, hit, grow my nose, scratch the eyes and run. I'm not there to prove that I'm better. I teach self-defense, so that's just, I want to get away alive. I don't care about wind. <laughs> okay. So, so, jab, cross, jab, kick. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's finish with one of my favorite kicks, a side thrust. Um, I'm working a little differently today. Normally I like to work this kick with either a shuffle, we're walking. One of my favorites is to work in further and further away and do a hopping side thrust kick. And my record's right at about eight feet. 
Let's see if you will uh, land that kick from a 12 foot distance. I couldn't do it, but I got to eight. And I was pretty happy with that. But the person who beat me, I seen do it the furthest, didn't do it as a walking or a hopping or a shuffle. Maybe there's a crossover. And what that means is they came off the back leg, they bring their knee up, and they cross over into that kick. But whenever they did it, they do it with a hop. And they would be able to strike. You can stand there on a block, you can stand 10, 12 feet away, and you'd step back and you'd still hit you in the shoulder with it. Um, you can knock the back over at 11 feet easily. So that's what we're going to do without the hop. We're going to come off the back leg into a side thrust. 10 times on each side. Ready. One. I'm not pushing through too much. Again, because I'm just going to move back around too much. Two. Like that. Three. Four. It's going to look like there's no paddle. That's because I'm at the edge of my kick. Five. If they're at the very end of your punch or your hit, I'm going to hit very hard. It's got to hit and go through a little bit. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Back a little bit. Other side. So if you haven't on this kick before, just bring your knee up, turn it sideways like you were with the side thrust, and push forward. Just instead of drawing it all the way back, you let the momentum carry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hands in. A few basics and a few combos for today. I'm going to do too many. If you need more of a workout, take a one minute break and repeat the video. You do that video up three times, it'll be a great workout for you. Um, I myself, I'm going to go on to a weapons workout, which I can't do in this room because it's too small. So I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and share this with your friends. Comment, let me know what you think.